Uh, I'm Ahia Baron, and uh, this work is uh, joined with my supervisor, Professor Nathan Keller. In our work, we present an attack on MISTI-1, so some general facts about it. It is a block cipher that published and designed by Matsui in 1907 and got several recognition since then. It got recognition from the Japanese government, from the European NESI project, and also been accepted in as ISO standard. Its most famous successor is called Kasumi that is widely used in 3G cellular communication. We will return to it later. The structure of MISTI-1 is eight round five structure with 64 bit block and 128 bit key. And its run function is called FO that is also a three run fast structure. The same is true for the run function of FO. It is also three run fast structure. Uh, shortly, the run function of MISTI-1 is a complex function. And if it, it is not sufficient, the designer added one more function called FL to make the structure even more complex. The FL function is a fine, simple function that applied every two rounds, and it used as whitening layer. Despite of the complex structure, several attacks were published in the last year. In the first row, you can see a text on reduced variant of the cipher. And in the last two rows, you can see the first text on the full MISTI-1 cipher were published last year by TODO. TODO's attacks are integral attacks that uses a new, a new technique TODO invented called the vision property. So let's start with integral attacks. Integral attacks uses an integral characteristic. And what is that? It is a prediction that an equation holds. The equation is called a tech equation and it predicts that the sum over some intermediate values equals zero in some bit after i rounds. Such a characteristic is called i round integral characteristic, and the full name is case order integral characteristic of i rounds, where k is the log of the number of values examined. Okay. What we do with an uh, integral characteristic? So assume you found an integral characteristic, start with a set of plain text V, which the corresponding intimate v values sum to zero after I rounds. You encrypt the relevant plain text, and then you guess some key bits so you can check whether the attack equation holds. You check if the tech equation holds, and if it's not, you can discard this key guess. Okay. But how you found an integral characteristic? This is the question. Here, Todo came up with nice technique that uses what it's called division property. A division property of a set S is a partition of the space, in our case, F2 to the power of n, to two groups. Uh, one is all the use such that the, the sum of x to the power of u over all x in S equals zero. And the other set is all the other use. Now start with a, a set of plain text that satisfy the division property and check how the division property changes through the encryption process. 
if after I rounds, the set of good U's contain at least one U whose coordinate sum to two or more, then you get an integral characteristic of I rounds. Todd applied his technique to MISTY1 and found a six-round integral characteristic start after the first FL layer. This characteristic, integral characteristic, is two round longer than the previous uh, best known characteristic. And the tech equation predicts that the sum of two to the six in three specific values is zero in seven bits of the input to FL7. This means that if you get the relevant ciphertext, you need to decrypt just through the last round and FL7 to check whether the tech equation holds. And this characteristic is used in Todoi text. We use uh, additional characteristic in our work. The additional characteristic is a modification of TODO characteristics. Both characteristics is looks the same, but while TODO characteristics start at the plaintext side, our characteristic, sorry, the modified characteristic, start at the ciphertext slide. Looking at the, at the decryption direction, the modified characteristics starts after, uh, before the last FL la layer and ends after the second round. Here is a be better picture drawn on the same picture. So both characteristics look the same and the question is, what is the advantage of the modified characteristic? We think the answer is one of the weaknesses of MISTY1 design. And the answer is simple. There are common qubits in the first round, in FO1 and FL1. So less key material is needed to guess for checking whether the tech equation holds. Okay, but we still have the first round and FL4 function to pass and uh, the first round is a complex function. So let's start simplifying things starting with the FL function. The 30 bit FL function can be divided to 16 two bits function that applied in parallel, and there are, they are roughly the same function. This has give us the ability to split the seven bit attack equation into up to seven one bit equation. And in addition, um, some calculation can be moved before FL4 instead of after FL4. This is because FL is a, a fine function. So uh, the calculation is now um, before FL4 and we need to deal with FO1. For this, we use, uh, we presented two uh, of the main observations uh, we used. One observation is we can ignore some part of the key. Why? Because we sum over an even number of values, so a key that involved linearly in the tech equation is canceled. Like K of four and KI for one in the first round. The second observation is like this. Because of the three-round Feistel structure of the 
MIST-1 function, the main calculation can be splitted to separate calculation. For example, calculate the seven leftmost bits of the output of F01, given its input, input can be done like this. Calculate the contribution of the left side and the right side of the input separately, and only in the end, joining them together. The picture is like this. The left uh, side goes through FI1, and the right side goes, goes through FI2 with feed forward. The last result is the XOR of these two results. Okay, before moving to the next section, it's worthy to mention that the designer of uh, Kasumi, the successor of Misty One, made a small changes to prevent these weaknesses. The splitting of FL function in Misty One cannot be done in Kasumi due to additional rotation, here and here. As for the three-round pastel structure, in Kasumi, the FI function is four-round pastel structure. Due to, to these changes and others, no five or more round integral characteristic is currently known in Kasumi. and for uh, the section of our results. So in our work, we use several techniques. One of them is partial sum, first presented by Farkinson et al. in 2000. The main idea is to guess the key material in several steps instead of one big guess. First, you guess some of the key bits. Then, you partially encrypt the relevant values. And uh, finally, you reduce by some magic the number of values you have to compute before moving the next steps. The next steps are similar. You guess some more key bits. You partially encrypt and reduce the number of values, and so on, and so on. A second technique is two-dimensional meet in the middle, first presented by De et in 2012. We perform a meet in the middle attack twice. One, we split the seven-bit attack equation to two equations a three-bit equation and a four-bit equation, and compare their common key bits. This is this. Second, we modified each equation separately. Instead of um, check if um, a sum of values equals zero, we split the value to two groups and check whether the sum over one group equals the sum over the second group. Okay. Adding up all technique together, we achieve the following result. To recover 49 qubits, we need three things. One is a modified characteristic. Second, we need almost all the code book. And three, a time of two to the 64, that is roughly the time to decrypt the data. The rest of the key can be recovered in two ways. One 
is just exhaustive search that increase the time to 2 to the 79. Less trivial way is to use also Todo original characteristic for extra filtering. This way, the time decreases under the 2 to the 17, but all the, de all the code book is required. Okay, to summary. We uh, significantly improve the uh, previous best known attack on the uh, full MISTI-1 cipher by a factor of 2 to the 37. However, our attack is um, not a practical attack due to the amount of data that required. In addition, our attack doesn't work against Kasumi uh, in part because the uh, changes that made in its design. And uh, that's it. Thank you. <laughs>